all that is lost ever be found Could a garden come up from this ground at all? You this song about brokenness, we asked a few artists from Calvary to listen to the song over and over again, and then, using their preferred medium, create something inspired by what the song did inside of them. Our first artist is 18-year-old Ben Phelps, a senior at Francis Hall North. Ben says he loves art because it's a universal language, and he often listens to music for inspiration as he creates. This is what Ben says about his painting. I've wanted to create a piece like this for quite a while. Beautiful things gave me the final push of inspiration I needed. This piece is symbolic of God's creation. My desire is for you to discover the full meaning of the painting for yourself. But one truth I hope you draw from it is that God created everything, and He declared it to be good. God is the greatest artist. You need merely see the Rocky Mountains or the color of the sunrise to know that only God could have created such beautiful things. Our next artist, Jillian Bartak, is an accomplished actor, singer, and artist. She's a second year art student at Lindenwood University. Jillian begins her artist statement with a lyric from the song. All around, hope is springing up from this old ground. Out of chaos, life is being found in you. God and I often talk through creation, whether it's stepping outside to view the beauty of nature or forming something on a canvas. The art of creating is a conversation with my creator. I want God to do beautiful things through me to create beautiful things with my hands, my lips, and my heart. Looking closely at the painting only convolutes my mind. It's chaotic up close. But if you step back and see the whole picture, a harmony between dark and light, death and life, sleep and awakening emerge. God is truly the author of every beautiful thing. Our next artist is Megan Broadfield, a 17-year-old high school junior. Megan is the daughter of Desiree Drury, who works on staff here at Calvary in the children's department. Listen to Megan describe her experience. When I get a glimpse of the immense love the creator of the universe has for me, I am awestruck. I am sinful and selfish, and my good works are nothing but filthy rags. I am broken. But when I realize that a perfect, holy God sees beauty in my complete brokenness, I am moved to stand in His light with arms high and heart abandoned, like the silhouette in my painting. 1 Corinthians 15.22 says, Everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. And in creating this piece, I have been able to meditate on what it truly means to be made new by God. Although to us, our lives seem filled with chaos and pain, He sees beauty and gives us hope. Kyle Bradley uses his artistic gifts as a member of the communications department here at Calvary. He is an accomplished artist, writer, and poet, and has an intense passion for art. These are Kyle's thoughts inspired by the song. This painting is a representation of Mark chapter 1, where Christ, after his baptism, is sent by the Spirit into the wilderness. It also represents the wilderness that we sometimes face in our own lives. The wilderness can look very different to each of us. A struggle of some kind, a loss, a trial. The wilderness can seem dark and lonely when we're in it. It can be a trying time in our life. Yet as Christ followers, we can be confident that God will use those times for our good. 
confident that as we seek him there, he will shape us and grow us in the beautiful image that is Christ Jesus. For me, the wilderness was a struggle with depression for several years, a time of darkness and hopelessness. I remember wondering if it would ever end, if I could ever find joy. Now, looking back, I can see that God worked in unexpected ways to help me during that difficult time of my life, and I can look at the wilderness differently. Artist Jenny Donaldson is currently illustrating her first children's book, but in response to this song, she chose to create a sculpture with the help of Dave Aberly, who did the welding. In her artist statement, Jenny says this about her sculpture. I really wanted to create a piece that captured both the despair and hope that surfaces during our lives. Despair is symbolized by the dark, hard rebar that serves as an armature for the sculpture. The wire that winds throughout the piece represents the chaos in our lives the twists and turns that God takes us through. When examined closely, the wire looks very haphazard, yet in the bigger picture, it softens the piece and makes it more interesting. Though we may not know where we are headed or what difficulties we will encounter, we can trust in God's plan and rely on Him to show us the beauty along the way. The brightly colored clay pieces are there to remind us of the beauty in God's plan for our lives and that He has handcrafted each of us into something uniquely and wonderfully made. Our last artist is photographer Michelle Ross. Michelle lost her beloved brother James in a car accident eight years ago. This song stirred in Michelle deep despair rather than inspiring beauty. Listen to her words as she tries to reconcile the ugliness of a tragedy that forever changed her life with the lyrics of this song, Beautiful Things. She says, My hurt is deep, my pain is wide, and I am angry. I cannot reconcile that sorrow into a neat little package, Beautiful Things. But then I see my children, and I remember a time when life was simple and light, like the white, lazy tuft of a dandelion seed. I yearn for easy joy. I find anchor in Ecclesiastes, confirmation that I am not promised health or prosperity or companionship. I see I am promised one day at a time, clinging to the rock face of a mountain that in so many ways is a mystery. <laughs> 